What's going on y'all? So today we're gonna to be talking about three steps to lose chest fat fast. But before we go ahead and dive into the content, most men just assume that if they have man boobs, it could be something called gynecomastia, which is essentially the growth of a man's breast tissue that's usually caused by high estrogen and low testosterone. But if you don't have gyno, for sure you just got man boobs that need to get nice and solid and defined. I'm gonna give you these three steps that are gonna be great help to you. All right, so step number one is we need to decrease your body fat percentage. I don't care what anybody says, is you probably heard this before, is you can't do something called spot reduce. You can't just look at your chest and say, what exercises can I do for my chest to get rid of my man boobs? There's exercises we can do that I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that are gonna help build, shape, and define the pecs, but until we get the body fat off it to reveal that definition, you can't just say, what exercises can I do? So the thing we have to really do, first and foremost, I'm sure you've heard it many times, is we need to get your nutrition straight. You need to be in a calorie deficit. So when you're in a calorie deficit and you're starting to lose fat and lose weight, you can't just be eating carbs, okay? You have to prioritize protein because protein is so important to building lean muscle. And the more muscle that you build, the more fat that you're ultimately gonna burn. So with that being said, you wanna have a good macronutrient split like I was saying before. And what I recommend is once you figure out how many calories you're supposed to be eating to be in a calorie deficit, you wanna have a good macro percentage, which is your protein, carbs, and fats. Just for a general macro split that most people can use, what I recommend is doing 35% protein, 35% carbs, and 30% fat if you're on the leaner side. But if you have a little more weight to lose or a lot of weight to lose, maybe try going 35% protein, 35% fat, and 30% carbs to start out. Step number two is you gotta be weight training. Remember, we can't target the fat on top of our muscles, but we can target the muscle itself. So it is so important that you're doing weight training and really hitting those chest muscles so that we can have a tighter, more sculpted chest. So right now I'm gonna go ahead and give you five of the best chest exercises that I recommend you get to right away. Exercise number one, the king of all the chest, that is the barbell bench press. You can do it on the flat barbell bench press, you can do it on the incline barbell bench press, or you can do decline barbell bench press. If you're doing decline, it's gonna hit more of the lower chest. If you're doing incline, it's gonna hit more of the upper chest muscles. And if you're doing flat, it's gonna hit the total chest. You wanna make sure that you're prioritizing the barbell bench press. All right, and the second exercise is the dumbbell bench press. Same thing, it's a bench press. However, you're gonna be able to get more of a stretch and use more of your range of motion when doing this exercise. And just like the barbell bench press, you can hit the same angles, which is flat, incline, or decline for the lower chest, the mid chest, and the upper chest. So moving on to number three, that is the chest fly. You can do this with dumbbells on the flat, on the incline for the upper again, the decline for the lower, and then you can also incorporate the pec deck machine or you can do cables. And when you're coming down from low, you're gonna come up and hit the upper chest or you can come right here and come and hit the middle chest or you can come from the top and then you'll hit the bottom of the chest. Exercise number four, we're gonna move into dips. You already know what dips are, you probably already know how to do them, but what you're gonna do is just jump on the bar, you're gonna lean forward, legs back, and you're gonna go down to where your shoulder is right lining up with your elbow, or maybe it's a little lower to get an extra stretch, and you're gonna push back up, and you're gonna do your dips. That's a really, really good exercise for your chest. All right, and exercise number five is classic old push-ups. Whether you're a beginner or advanced, it's always good to throw push-ups into your workout, so make sure you're getting those push-ups done. So we made it to step number three and that's you wanna improve your posture. Sure, improving your posture is not gonna help with losing chest fat, but it's gonna make it look a lot better because you've already started to lose the fat by being in a calorie deficit. You're pumping the iron and building the muscles to make it look more defined, but now that last cherry on top is making sure you have good posture because a lot of us, we work sedentary jobs, we're hunched over on computers all day or we're driving all the time where you might have some shoulder protraction going on where your shoulders are rolling forward. So I'm gonna give you some tips on how to correct that the best we can. Tip number one, 
one is you wanna go ahead and stretch the chest muscles. Tip number two is you wanna go ahead and make sure that you are strengthening the weak opposing muscles like your back muscles because if you have a weak back and you're always like that, it's not gonna work so we stand up right. And then the next thing is you wanna go ahead and make sure you're, you're practicing good posture. And instead of just telling yourself practice good posture, practice good posture, act like you have like a glass of water that's sitting up you know, straight on top of your chest and that's how you wanna walk because if, if the glass of water, if you start to lean forward, it's gonna tip over. You never want that glass of water to tip over. So just think like, you know, it's kind of a cute, you know, you're just walking, I got that glass of water. All right, so I hope those three steps really brought you a lot of value and helped you understand what you need to do so that you can get rid of your man boobs or your chest fat. But anyway, I'm Eric Spada with Eric Spada Fitness and I help men build muscle and lose anywhere from 20 to 40 pounds in just 90 days. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, maybe because you're lacking motivation, you have no clue what to do because you have a lack of knowledge as to what to eat, what to do for workouts, and you just need a roadmap and a mentor, I want you to go ahead and find me on any social media platform such as Facebook or Instagram. Instagram and shoot me a direct message with the word power and I'll know exactly what you're talking about. Once again, I'm Eric Spada with Eric Spada Fitness and I'll see you in the next video.